Hello learners, welcome back to education program online with me teacher Christy taking you in mathematics for senior 3 and senior 4. So our dear learners, uh, we are concluding this topic by looking at the next subheading which is problems leading to quadratic equations. Problems leading to quadratic equations. What does it mean? It means that uh, sometimes we may tend to express uh, issues that may lead us into uh, uh, complicated problems uh, in everyday life. But when it comes to mathematics, we look at the expression that uh, will draw us uh, to what we call to a conclusion that uh, or to the formation of what we, we call a quadratic equation. That is what uh, the, the subheading means problems leading to quadratic equations. Every day, like we have just said, uh, statements that you can make at the end of the day, you find yourself into a big uh, problem. Is what we call quadratic problems leading to quadratic equations. So let us look at it straight away. Uh, how are these uh, problems look like that you can uh, lead us to what we to have what we call the quadratic equation uh, example one we have uh, the product look at this equation the product of two of two integers of two integers of two integers is 72 is 72 find the integers find the integers find the integers so dear learners uh, look at this uh, statement we always uh, sometimes uh, say uh, you try to bring something in a way that you want someone to cook his mind so that he can think deeper critical thinking when we are dealing with the problems you are to it teaches us to have a critical thinking on how to deal with the quadratic e equations look at example one says the product of two integers is 72 find the integers now when you ask yourself what does it mean? How do I get the integers? That will give me the product of 72. So you say, solution. Uh, we have only known what is the product uh, that is 72. Then we say, let that, uh, let x be what? Uh, let x be one of the one of the first integers because there are two the first integers so we can simply say let one let x be one of the first integers because now the question is clearly telling us that it two in so what was that first one in and then what was that second one in so that at the end it comes to what is 72. So we simply say let x be what? Uh, be the first integer. And then what about the second one? If x is that, then then let the second let the second the second integer the second integer be what? Be now x plus one. You may wonder how did this come? Uh, when you say let that be x plus one, because we know that uh, in the equation here there are two integers. And the first one we don't know. What was that first one? And then now if I'm to move to the second one, that means I must have the first one plus now the second one to give me the two. That is what this expression means. So now, when we come to back here, you say the product. Uh, then now we simply say, now my product of one uh, 
close the bracket and then x plus 1 equals to what? Equals to 72. That is how you simply ex uh, express your, uh, your, 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 your statement. Uh, then now from here you now see that it, you have answered the equation straight. The product is you are multiplying. Here means you are multiplying. Then the two, the first one is taken as x. And then the second one, for me to get the second one, that means I need the first one and plus what? Plus one, so that I come up with the two. So this x is the same as one, plus one, I will come to the two integers that the equation is asking us. And then now from here, you open your bracket. So you will have x times x gives us x square. And then x times one will get it x and then equals to 72 so it has already brought us to what we call a quadratic but it's not a complete quadratic equation it is just a quadratic but not a equation because it is giving us a possible answer so make this statement to be a quadratic equation that is you will get x square plus x and then this is positive 72 cross it to the left hand side when it crosses there it changes sign to negative 2 equals to 0 so learners that is how you you formulate your expression so after he up, up, up to this level then now you can do what you can now factorize it to get the two numbers factorize it factorize it so when we factorize we can use a factor method here. You can use a factor method. You can use general method. Any method that you feel it can be easy for you. So if we are using factor method, uh, we can simply break this and then we break that. Mm. Looking at it, the numbers that I multiply here must give me negative 72. And when I add them, it must give me positive 1. Mm. So here we shall have x and then x. And then here we shall have what? We shall have uh, 9 and then 8. So when we multiply, it will give us 70, but not 72, but not negative. So when we put negative 9, then uh, it will give us negative 72, but not when we add them, it will not give us a positive 1. So then you, our negative will be uh, on it. So that is why we say error and trial method. So this, when I multiply this, I will get 72. When I add it, I will get 1, which is x. Then now I will have uh, x with that and then x with that. So I will have x, uh, x plus 9 and then x minus x plus 9 and then x minus 8. So now from here, we fit them to 0. You now solve your value. So you say, when I solve this, I will get it x equals to what? Negative 9. And then here, o x would be positive 8. So those are the two numbers. When I multiply, I will get my answer. What? I will get my answer. Uh, 70, 7, negative 70. So here is negative 70. But our question here is saying what? It is saying positive 70. So that means you are now going to have our x equals to negative 9 or x equals to negative 8. Those are our two numbers. Hmm. So you only play with the signs so that you are right back to what you have been given. So dear learners, that is how what we mean by problems leading to quadratic. You have a question and then from there you dig to produce a quadratic equation and then you will be able to get it, the solution for that quadratic. Then let us look at the example 2. Example 2. Example 2, you may say, uh, then, then see plot, then see plot of land, uh, 
has a length has a length of eight feet of eight feet as a length as a length as a length that is more excuse me that is that is eight feet that is eight feet more eight feet more than the width more than the width more than the width given that given that the piece of land given that the piece of land the piece of land The piece of land is 209. The piece of land is 209. Of land is 209 feet. Square feet. Square feet. Find the length and the width. Find the length and the the width find the length and the width find the length and the width of the plot of the plot full stop so dear learners that is our 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 what is our question the question says that dense plot of land has a length that is 80 feet more than the width given that the piece of land is 209 square feet find the length and the width of the plot so when you look at that question learners it needs you to think critically and then you now try to come up what does this statement or this sentences uh, requires me to do what does it need mm. so you will have to what our to look at our solution we say uh, do i know the the width I don't know the width because they have told us the length is 80 more than the width and therefore we say let uh, let w be our what is be the width be the width let w be the width and then now for us to get it, the length what will be the length? Because the length also we don't know, but they have just told us that it is what? It is 80 feet more than what? More than the width. That means uh, the length will be the width plus 8. Why we say plus 8? If we look at our last question here, you will have this is our width and this is our length and then here is the 290 square nine square 
speak. So, for us to arrive to this, that means the whole area of this, in other words, if the whole area that is occupied by this plot is equal to this, what will be the width and what is the, the actual uh, length? So, we simply say the length here will now be, uh, the width we say it is equal to what is uh, W and then the length will be uh, the same as W plus X because they said more than that. So, after that, then we can now simply say that for us now to arrive to, 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 to our area, uh, we simply get it, the 209 equals to the length plus the what is plus it, the times it, the length times it, the width for us to get it, the, the area. So we simply have uh, W times W plus 8 equals to our 209 feet. Mm. Equals to our 209 square feet. So in this level now, you will find that if we are calculating the area, we are to, to multiply. Mm. We always get it area uh, 2 into L plus W. That is for the, 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 the rectangle. And now when we apply that knowledge to this, then we automatically get the expression of this kind. And then we open our bracket and then we get the X W square and then plus 8 W equals to what is 209 and then we mo form our quadratic equation that will be 8 W uh, minus 209 equals to 0 and then now from here is where we are going to do what to factorize my dear learners what I want you to know here is that uh, whatever you are going to do in problem solving must be in line with what uh, the quadratic uh, equation as long as it is because it is under a quadratic. So uh, up to that level, we are now going also to do what uh, to factorize uh, our expression, the quadratic here. So when we factorize, we can simply use the error and trial method. We look at it. Here we have uh, W times W. And then here we look at it, which numbers can we multiply so that we get negative 200, z z negative 209. And then when we add them, it will give us positive 8. When we add them, we get positive what? Positive 8. So we will find that there are so many factors. But because of time, we are not going to look at all those factors. We simply look at it. Uh, when I multiply 19, when I multiply 19 times 11, what do I get? You will automatically come to what? 209. And now since it is a negative, and if you take consider 19 to be a negative, you will not arrive to the middle answer, the middle term here, which is 88. So we take the smaller factor to be a negative if the middle term is a positive. So you will have uh, the negative there. And then we can have uh, this corresponds with that, and then this corresponds with that. And then we can have W uh, plus 19. And then we have uh, W negative 11, sorry, X W minus 11. All is equal to 0. So you can use that, or you can use what we call uh, W first term times the second term. It will still bring you back to this answer. And then, now from that level, you can now solve and you get the what is the value of uh, W. So the value of W will now be uh, W will either be 
either b w equals to what uh, this when we equate to zero it becomes negative 19 so we shall have negative 19 or w equals to positive what positive 11 so the two when i i multiplied this uh when i multiply uh the what this 11 times 19 i will come to 200 uh negative 200 nine but remember that in our measurements we don't have a negative fit we don't have the weeds which are negative so take note of this we don't have ne weeds which are negative so you say weeds are weeds cannot be negative cannot be negative this is what you need need, need. if you are calculating the the weeds you must know that the weeds are not uh, negative that means you are going to take it all positive you take it all positive so that it arrives you back to the positive whatever so you simply say weeds the weeds equals to equals to a positive positive 11 and the length equals to positive 19 feet so dear learners this is our what your, your answers are so we have found the the widths uh, as being 11 and then uh, the, the length to be uh, 8. So this one is the same as 11 feet. And then here is the same as now. Our length here is the same as 19 feet. So this is our uh, our answer. So dear learners, with those two examples, I hope that you have got the clue on how to or formulate to handle issues or problems in quadratic with that i want us to take these questions you take these questions as your exercise work take these questions as exercise work ball a ball is a ball is kicked a ball is kicked vertically vertically upwards upwards with the velocity of upwards with the velocity with the velocity of 10 meters per second it is height it is height, which is x, after, after this is given, is given by the formula, by the formula, the formula x equals to negative 10 p square 
plus two squared c. After how long? After how long? After how long? Will it be? Will it be sixty square meters from the ground? From the ground. From the ground. So, dear learners, I want you to take it that question as your exercise. Go and cook your mind and see how do I solve this. That is what we call problem solving. Uh, dear learners, we have come to the end of this topic uh, or this part of uh, algebra, especially on the quadratic. So, we are only left with the another part of algebra and uh, the same topic. Uh, we have come to the end of uh, our lesson and with this, I want to wish you the good day and good day.